Hey guys, we're back. So now I'm about to heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So I'm going to use some grapeseed oil instead of canola or regular vegetable oil. The healthier version would probably be coconut oil or avocado oil. But, oh, I do have some. I, I, thought I was like, but unfortunately, <laughs> some. I was like, oh, there it is. Okay. We got our grapeseed oil in there. And sometimes I like to move the pan around so the oil coats it. All right. All right, we got our ground beef in here. Let's get that piece of ginger out. Yeah. Okay. We got that down. All right. So now we got more of our sauce. That's dirty. I always try to wipe off any raw meat on, but I have raw meat on me right now. Um, I kind of fully wash my hands during break. All right, I'm gonna cut more of this ginger. Make it minced up more. And if you have excess ginger, you can save it for like another meal or for something else, you know? Go home and ginger ale. No, don't do that. I mean, if you know how to make homemade ginger ale, that's cool. Okay, or ginger beer. Mm -hmm. All right, I got my minced ginger up. I'm gonna mince up a little bit while the meat's cooking. All right. Oh, we got beef geese. Big piece. Okay. All right. So, I have some options. You don't have to use ground pork. You can also use ground chicken, ground beef, or if you don't want meat, you can use tofu. And then, if you don't want it to look like tofu, you can put it in the oven to make it crispy. Or if you want an all veggie flavor, then use all veggies. So unfortunately, I was going to use a bell pepper. I thought I had one, but I don't. So, we got more garlic in the filling. Got mushrooms. And butter lettuce. For the cups. Alright. Oh boy. I should probably stir that. Man. So right now I'm stirring the meat. You also want to flip your meat to get all sides of it browned. I didn't salt and pepper the pork because I already some sauce. And most of the sauce has salt in it. So, yeah. Alright, let's see what we got next. Wow. Um, Alright, I'm going to cut some scallions up that are appetizing. So... That's not appetizing. <laughs> no. Not even close. Alright. So I didn't recently get some new scallions. So I'm going to have to make do with what I have. And get rid of the bad ones or any bad parts of it. That's a bad part. And that's a bad part. Great. Now my hands are going to be full of onions. The scallions are green onions. They're also called green onions. All right, so I'm going to cut this up. Wash your fingers every time. Because, <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. All right. Ooh, 
I don't want that part. Bad part. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Let's cut some green onions. Yeah, wash the fingers. Always. And if it does get smaller, just be careful. Ooh. Don't want that. I don't want that. Alright. All bad parts are gone. Oh, that was a bad looking one. Alright. We got scallions all minced up. Perfect. All right, we got our meat cooking. I'm gonna finish up what else I have here and we'll be right back.